Vindictus is an instanced free-to-play MMORPG that released all the way back in 2010, and to this day is still considered to have some of the best action combat in the MMO genre. I've covered Vindictus a few times over the years, but now in 2023, the game has 22 different playable classes, each of which has their own weapons, personality, and ultra flashy skill combos. In terms of content, Vindictus has a main storyline which mostly tells the narrative via text, stage-based dungeons that can be taken on either solo or in a group, as well as 8 player raid bosses once you hit endgame with the current level cap as of making this video being 110. Is Vindictus still alive in 2023? Has the game made any improvements since the last time I covered it? Find out in this video, but first, a sponsor. Clash Royale is an epic multiplayer real-time mobile strategy game that blends together a unique mix of tower defense, card collection, and competitive strategy within the beloved Clash universe. One of the key features of this game is its fast-paced, real-time multiplayer battles. Compete against players from around the world and climb the competitive ladder in adrenaline fueled 1v1 or 2v2 battles in which you'll need to outsmart and counter your enemy to be victorious. Another cool feature of Clash Royale is its huge collection of cards, each with their own unique abilities and strengths. Collect and upgrade cards featuring heroes from the Clash of Clans universe such as the Goblin, Hog Rider and Ice Wizard, and with new cards added regularly, the deck building meta is constantly shifting. The things I personally like the most about Clash Royale is just how polished the game feels. It's super responsive, the audio visual feedback is on point, and the game has an iconic art style. This is probably why it's so popular with over 100 million downloads. So if you're a fan of RPGs, card games, RTS or tower defense, then Clash Royale is the game for you, and with an active community and thriving esports scene, there's no better time to join. So click the link in the description below to download Clash Royale for free now and start your journey to becoming the ultimate champion. Vindictus in 2023. It's been two or three years since I last played this game, so I'm excited to see if there's any cool new classes out. Check out my old characters. This character doesn't seem to be too happy to see me. Hi. Again. Been two or three years since I last played this game, this is how I'm greeted. Hey! At least this character's enthusiastic. The last time I played Vindictus, Lathor was the newest character, Lathor, and since then, it seems as though there's been an additional six new characters added to the game. Sword Staff. Kale wields the deadly sword staff. Tessa. I am Tessa. I poke holes into my enemy's defenses. Mommy? So the new characters have their own voice acting, whereas the old characters are just kind of introduced by an announcer. Dan R. Soulblade. Letty, heavy cannon. I'm Letty, a gunner and ex Leon Navy cadet. That's cool. Latia, Lance. She reminds me of a Black Desert Online Valkyrie. I'm Latia. Sharon is the newest character and she uses an orb. I'm Sharon. Outfit just clipping through her body. I'm guessing the female classes make more money than the males because there's 15 female classes and only seven male classes. With outfits like this though, why are you playing as a dude anyway? <laughs> Every character just has the biggest tits, and when you click on them, there's like an instant Hi, jiggle, Rob. clearly by design. I've decided to play as Danar because I think this Soul Blade could be really fun. She just looks good by default. Do I really want to change anything? Check out a few outfits. Yo, that's cool. Of course, we've got to have a more revealing option, and obviously something completely immersion breaking as well. We'll leave everything as default. We'll just make have a fat ass. That'll do. Coffee damage. My name in creativity is not too good today. Looks like the game's got the same prologue as it's had for many years. Let's get a feel for this sword. Okay, straight away, the animations of this weapon are fantastic. Good early impressions of the combat. Feeling like I made the right choice. Carry Teeth to safety. Someone needs to poach the animation designers from the Vindictus dev team, because even in 2023, the animations of this game and the combat and general movement are still up there. The game was well ahead of its time in terms of combat and animations. When I first played this game, I was terrified of this spider, but I've killed him so many times that it doesn't bother me too much anymore. Spawning into the town, looks like there's a few players hanging out already. I was worried that no one would be playing this game, but nice to see that there are still some people. First things first, we need to dress like a whore. This game actually has paid hairstyles. All of the best hairstyles costs money. Recommended picks. Oh my god. 
Um, very quickly gone from innocent girl to big titty porn star. And I swear her boobs were not this big during character creation. Oh, this also changes her body. Thank you for the recommendation, game. Oh, that's cool, though. Okay, something a little bit more tasteful. That looks cool. <laughs> nice. Please don't get me demonetized. All outfits. 43 pages of outfits. Yo, there's so much. In case she was wondering, this is how Vindictus has managed to stay around for so long. The game's actually a waifu dress-up simulator, but it's just disguised as an MMORPG. That one's getting me demonetized. Fucking hell. I should just make a 10-minute video doing this and title it Vindictus Gameplay in 2023, because this is basically what it's about, isn't it? Ooh, glowy armor. I bet that's like super expensive. Something a bit more modern. Kind of cool. Mate, her tits are basically just fucking out, aren't they? They're not even covered. She's, she's almost naked. When I said let's make a slutty character, I didn't think it was going to be this extreme. I was half joking. Oh, you can look like a reaper. That's more like it. Wait, you can remove her legs. What? If you was wondering why Vindictus is still around after all of these years, here's your answer. This outfit looks kind of fitting to my character. How much is this going to cost me? I'm never going to financially recover from this. Now we can finally play the game. Story progression mode. Complete battles without returning to town. That's nice. This wasn't a thing the last time I played the game. This should hopefully speed things up a bit. First thing at him. Speared noob. Oh, that's actually stunned him. Nice. Stylish. So this time I'm straight on to the next battle without having to go back to town and then click on the ship. More dialogue that I'm definitely not skipping. More rewards. Reward, reward, lots of XP. Blazing through the level so quickly. This is even faster than I remember. I'm skipping through something. I don't know what's going on. I think the game's boosting me through the story for free. I got this continuous story scroll. I clicked on it and it's just boosting me through the story leveling me up without me actually having to do the missions. If you're wondering why there's big marks on my head, I've just got back from Muay Thai sparring. I took a few shots to the face today. Using my number two ability. Big damage, I like that one. Let's try my number one ability. Seems strong. Cobalt have surrounded you, you're not sure when they appear. Oh, is this where I turn into a god? So now I've transformed. Big damage. And we absolutely just fucking shred everything. Sit. Got myself a signature item set. Actually looked better than I did before. Much appreciated. Face the wrath of coffee damage. Oh, that was a nice combo. And it's dead. This game can basically be summed up in two sentences. Number one, big damage. Number two, big titties. What more do you really need from a game, honestly? Something I complained about in the past with Vindictus was the game was quite repetitive, like you'd have to kill the same bosses over and over again for the missions, but with these story skip scrolls, you don't really need to do that. You do each stage once, kill the boss once, and you can just progress to the next stage. The game actually seems to be in a better state now compared to the last time I covered it, which is a rare occasion. Dodge the trap. Never mind, just walk right into it because I'm a donkey. Oh, traps. That was obvious. Big fucking hole in the floor. And, and we're standing in it again. Beautiful gameplay. Oh, clean. Yeah, the combat of Vindictus certainly holds up even today. Still up there with BDO combat. Just goes to show that if you want to design a successful game, just make amazing gameplay first and then do everything else after. Vindictus is a super simple game, really. It's just like an instant stage-based game. Not much effort's really gone into the environments. It's like an arcade RPG hack and slash. But the most important thing is, the game is fun. Even though it's old, it's still fun. If you make fun gameplay, people are going to be playing your game years later. Such is the case here. And with the new system of speeding up the progression through the story mode and all of these rewards the game's throwing at you, it's actually more fun now more than ever. This is why we revisit MMOs on this channel, because sometimes they'll go through a bunch of changes that will just make the game better and more enjoyable. I wasn't expecting to have such a good time with this game going into this. I thought it would have been abandoned, nothing new happened to it. But to my surprise, five new classes and then they've completely improved the progression. So now you can just focus on enjoying the best thing about the game, which is the gameplay. Additionally, in the chat, it seems like there's a lot of people looking for groups. So that's nice to see, people still grouping. The game's not completely dead. Yo, I didn't know I could just move through the level like- Oh, I can't smell. So after revisiting Vindictus in 2023,
Well, we haven't died yet, so that's something. Apparently my character's tired. How do I make her not tired? Probably relax in the hot springs. We'll bathe, wearing some modest underwear. Do we have anything a little bit more slutty? Yes, we do. That's more like it. This is why people play Vindictus. The best hot springs in the MMO genre. What are those? Hello, friend. Nice to see you here. Dazzy Wazzy. That is Star Sever. <laughs> Oh, what a game. This game's actually super generous with cosmetics. You get so many free cosmetics now. I kind of regret spending money on my cosmetic in the beginning. There was absolutely no need for it because I've just been wearing the stuff that the game's given me for free. Another outfit box. Yo, nice. This is how I look with my helmet on. Certainly a badass outfit. To be fair, I think every, every time I revisit Vindictus, I do have genuine fun with the game. It's a game that I just kind of forget about. But I feel like this time revisiting the game, I'm having more fun than previous times because it's less repetitive and it's more rewarding than it ever has been. Is there more people on channel one? Yes. So there's way more people playing this game than I thought. Vindictus still has a player base. Feels populated. And that's level 50 and another continuous story scroll. Another special outfit box. I was level 48. I clicked the scroll, skipped some stuff, and now I'm level 53. Since there's a lot of people online right now, let's check out some of the characters. Lady over here looks like a superhero. Dude over here is looking fabulous with Nexon sunglasses. Big titty lady with purple hair, not bad. Wow, I haven't seen any character that looks like this before. He looks like a giant dwarf. Very cool. Not bad, playing the new class. My fashion game feels pretty weak compared to some of these players. Bit of a dance party going on over here, it seems. Yo, am I going to get demonetized? I can literally see her nipples poking through her shirt. Peak Vindictus gameplay over here. Kinky looking lady over here. Everyone's got their boob sliders just maxed out. This guy's leaning against a pole. I didn't know you can do that. Absolute giga chad. Some more lovely ladies. What's going on here? This person's having a cup of tea. Petting her bear. Okay. It's kind of cool that you can have coffee on a little stove that you've set up. I guess that's a campfire. I feel like my character has the smallest boobs out of everyone here. I'm not sure why, because I did max out the slider. I'm also dressed the most modestly. <laughs> yeah, 90% female characters, 10% male characters. I wonder what my girlfriend would say if she caught me playing this. Let's find out. <laughs> Right, so let's try my new ability, number six. Okay. That seems like a real ulti. Holy moly. Definitely an ulti. That took, like, most of its health down. Oh, we one comboed it. I wasn't expecting my new ability to be that powerful. The combat of this game just gets progressively better as you play through it. With more new abilities, transforms, and stuff like that. So now we've taken the carriage to a new location. I've never actually been here before. I mean, visually, for such an old game, the graphics aren't even that bad. The character models and the armor looks pretty good. I mean, if you didn't know any better, you'd think this is Black Desert with the graphics turned down slightly. Now that I've left the town and I'm wandering around this somewhat open environment, it makes me wish that Vindictus was an open world game. Hilda Forest Ruins, a new level. Although it looks pretty much the same as the initial ruins map. I think the biggest critique that I have for Vindictus is the lack of diversity when it comes to the levels. The stages that you're progressing through at level 50 and 60. They're basically just reusing assets that you was playing through at the very start of the game. Thankfully, you don't need to repeat levels as much anymore, thanks to the uh, story skip. So this is what my character looks like without any costume or cosmetic equipped. This is just the gear that I'm wearing. Looks pretty cool, to be honest. Let's have a look at some of the other gear that I've had. The game actually does have visual progression. This was the thing I had previously. It actually looks pretty decent, to be fair. So even if you don't buy cosmetics in this game, you're still going to get a sense of visual progression from just your normal armor as you progress through the game. And some of this stuff looks pretty cool. Oh, okay. This seems a little bit different. Field of views much larger. Seems like a giant boss area. We're going to fight a giant dragon. Okay. Sounds good to me. It's almost one shot me. We are doing good damage ourselves. I should probably pop paladin mode for this. Start doing some damage. Big damage. We're gonna kill it. We actually are. It looked harder than it was. Okay, so beyond level 60, you start fighting giant epic dragons. I appreciate that. Definitely more of a challenge than other bosses I've been fighting. What other contents available to us? We've got Guild Finder, P 
PvP. It's for level 90 and above though. Siege match. Arena. No one's participating in the arena. But I guess you need to have a friend. This video is probably starting to drag on for a bit, but we played for a fair few hours, had a lot of fun, made it to level 63, and I can see that the game is a lot more fun now compared to the last time I played it. Due to how they've sped up the progression, the game's less repetitive because you don't need to do the same missions over and over again, and it's got this story skip thing which helps you progress a lot faster. It also seems like there's a lot of XP events going on. I'm pleasantly surprised. I thought no one would be playing this game I thought it'd be completely dead because it is an old game at this point but even today in 2023 the game still holds up because the gameplay is just really fun as far as instanced hack and slash MMO lights go I think this is probably still the best one. So after revisiting Vindictus in 2023, my thoughts are as follows. The combat is still top tier. This alone means that even in 2023, the game is still genuinely fun to play. People do indeed still play Vindictus, and there's plenty of people hanging out, forming groups, and showing off their fashion creations. The progression in Vindictus is less repetitive, more streamlined, and more rewarding now compared to the last time I played it, which resulted in me having a pretty good time with the game and not dropping it as easy. Throughout my first impressions, I realised that it was completely unnecessary to spend money, because the game is very generous about giving you free cosmetics as you progress through the game. The game now has 22 different classes, which could potentially mean some decent replay value if you get multiple characters to max level. Visually, the game doesn't actually look too horrible considering it's from 2010, and you can even make some really good looking screenshots with your character. If you like big titties and slutty outfits, then this game has you covered. Vindictus is region locked, so depending on your location, you might need a VPN to play. Despite the progression being much less repetitive nowadays, there's still a lot of copy and paste throughout the various stages with assets and level design. Despite having 22 classes, each of those classes are gender locked, which will annoy some people. If you're looking for an open world experience, you might be disappointed by Vindictus, as it is a heavily instanced game. Overall, I was super surprised by how much fun I had revisiting Vindictus this time around. The combat holds up very well even today, and the improvements to progression and the generous rewards have greatly improved the general experience of the game. I'm confident in saying you can definitely play this game and get many hours of free entertainment out of it. Personally, I'd love to see an announcement for Vindictus 2 at this point. Take this combat system and expand upon it further with a more immersive world in a modern engine. After revisiting Vindictus, I'd like to amend my rating for the game that I gave in my 2023 MMORPG tier list video. In that video, I rated Vindictus as D tier, but I think I'd like to move it up to mid C tier now. But that's it for this video guys, as always let me know your thoughts on Vindictus in the comments below, would you also like to see Vindictus get a sequel? Social media on screen, hack and slash away at that like button for the algorithm gods, and I'll see you in the next one.